Listen to the music in this scene. That's not how it appears in the movie because it doesn't. This is from a video I made two years ago, when this music track was first released. Eight years after the movie and its original soundtrack. That's what a deluxe album is for. When a movie soundtrack releases, it's not going to have everything. Watching the movie, you'll hear things that aren't on the soundtrack. Some things will be left out, some tracks will be incomplete. I've said before that some movies never get a soundtrack release. At all. Which is a reason to look at John Powell's How to Train Your Dragon scores. Because while some movies never got a soundtrack, or never got as much as you'd expect, this is a series that got not one album, but six, in less than 15 years. With each score receiving a deluxe album, and all the bonuses deluxe albums offer. Starting with... New Mixes. At first glance, deluxe albums might seem like more of the same. And yeah, it's a lot of the same cues. But they've been changed. A deluxe album is a re-release by the record label, so the cues have been remixed, remastered. You get mostly the same music, but it's a higher quality, closer to what was originally recorded in the studio, without the limitations of a regular CD. This time you get everything in order, because sometimes the original takes two cues from different parts of the movie and puts them together, even in reverse order, which sometimes works compositionally, but can also make for a confusing listen so it's nice to finally have them separated in the order they belong. As indicated by the Q numbers, which tell you the real number, what part of the film it is, M tells you it's a music track, and this number tells you which music track it is, making 4M16A into the whole the 16th piece of music in the Hidden World score, while 4M16B is the Hidden World cue as the B part of the sequence. Deluxe albums feature music not heard in the movie. If you're a fan who's seen each movie a dozen times, but you've never listened to one of the deluxe albums, there's music on here you've never heard. Because cues can be recorded and deleted, like deleted scenes. Some music is written by the composer, mocked up in the computer, orchestrated on paper, recorded by the orchestra, just so they can decide you know what, this actually works better without music. And that's just part of it. Music has information, it guides you. It gives you the pace of the scene, it tells you how to feel. But sometimes it's better to remove that guide. Who are you? The dragon thief? To raise questions instead. Do you even understand what I'm saying? Deluxe albums can include alternate music. Because sometimes the composer tries something and it doesn't work. In this case, it was the wrong tone. Too dark, the directors told John Powell. So the composer goes to plan B. And the deluxe album gives you that alternate version, what almost was. They also show you what the music sounded like before it was recorded. The demos are what the composer mocked up in the computer, before recording for the orchestra. It shows the level of detail the composer figures out before handing it off to the performers. So he can sit down with the directors and show them what he has in mind. So those changes can be made, and directors can show what they like. Okay, so when he first starts falling and there's this weird sort of like almost jet engine thing going on, yeah. I'm crazy for that. Yeah, that was, I'm crazy that was... for it. And those demos are getting realistic. Listen to this. This is Burke. The best kept secret this side of, well, anywhere. This is from an official promo for the second movie, and that's not the real music. A Reddit user recently pointed out this promo uses the demo track, which doesn't match the final version on the album. Of course, the real thing will always be better, because it's the real thing. It's the final arrangement and a human performance. It's 
Speaking of performances, the new Hidden World album contains something else only heard in the movie before. A diegetic cue, music played in the world of the characters, the only piece of diegetic background music in the series. And the albums contain more than just audio. Each physical copy has a booklet going into pages of detail about how the film and the score were written, what the themes represent, and this booklet from the first album, combined with the scorebooks released concurrently by Omni Music Publishing, are the reasons I even understand this score as well as I do. Where can you listen? Deluxe albums release physically, in limited supply, on two-disc albums that can be purchased on the record label's website, and they release digitally pretty much everywhere. So you can listen to any cue, anytime, anywhere. Have fun, kids! I'll just be here listening to my tunes. Which you could already do with the CD, but now you have every cue and bonus track. John Powell always uploads a playlist in the Releases tab of his YouTube channel, for which he recently celebrated 100,000 subscribers. 100,000 subscriber? I don't remember any of them. So, which is better? Which should you listen to? It doesn't matter. You can listen to either, both, none. I usually listen to the deluxe albums since they're out and since they have everything, but sometimes I listen to the original for This Is Burke, since it has the same opening track connected to the rest of it. But which would you listen to? Do you listen to any of the bonus tracks, music cut from the movie? If you compose, do you use the demos as a baseline to aim for? Let me know and thanks for watching. Thank you.